what is going on guys this is Carlos from everything tech and in this video I'm gonna teach you how to do a jailbreak on the PS4 on firmware 4.05 but I don't think anyone would want to stay on that up to 5.05 uh, that just got released yesterday uh, so the first thing you're gonna need to do is make sure that your PS4 is gonna be on 5.5 or 5.05 maximum anything above that it, there is no jailbreak for it currently uh, so just go all the way to the settings uh, app so I'm on notifications at the moment uh, so if you go over to the settings app and then click on settings and uh, we're going to use the user guide but we're going to use a couple of different things in order to um, in order to get this done properly so connect to the internet must be ticked uh, nothing's gonna happen while you're doing this so it's okay so when you get to this section here uh, you just need to choose either uh, Wi-Fi or LAN and then go on custom how to set, uh, want to set up an internet connection this will scan for your network but if you're on LAN you won't scan for anything there used to be a bug here uh, where if you use Wi-Fi to do this uh, it would uh, it would not work but that's not the case anymore so you can use Wi-Fi scan for your network put your password in and then in here IP address settings just go on automatic DHCP hostname do not specify and then the next section is going to be important the DNS settings go on manual and then you need to write down these primary primary DNS and second secondary DNS this is very important that you write these down once you do that I'll leave it on the screen for a little while but if you if you uh, don't pick it up in time just either use your smartphone and take a picture of it or you can just uh, pause the video here and uh, carry on when you've got everything done on your on your ps4 so after that uh, we go next one more time and that would bring us to MTU settings automatic proxy server do not use and if you test the internet, internet connection now it's gonna fail so that's nothing to be alarmed about it will just it's normal that it does that because you're on a lower firmware and you've got no access to the internet and because you've put a DNS uh, set setting that is not is not supposed to be there so uh, now that we've done that I'm just going to show you that I am on 5.05 .05. and there you are and now we're going to go back to the main screen and use the user guide at the top and click on user guide and then a page will come up with the firmware selection go on 5.05 .05 or whatever firmware that you're in and then on 5.05 .05 you need to do it the Myra if you're on a lower firmware then you need to choose the right firmware that you're in so click on Myra and you might get this screen and this is normal uh, there is not enough free system memory just click OK and you will refresh again until it actually completes the task so you're all set that's it your ps4 is now jailbroken and uh, all we need to do now is go and check it see if our debug settings are on and then we come back here to block any further updates that your console will try to do because you're on a lower firmware than what you're supposed to be so that's the debug set settings that's all done now uh, you got all of the stuff in here you can back up your own games and um, have them you know saying in case you destroy the discs or, or the discs get to scratch to play at least you'll have a backup that you can use to play so now let's go back onto the user guide and back onto the user's guide and in here uh, click on 5.05 .05 and then click blocker you might get a message that it's not done or you might get a, a this message which is the completed message and that concludes our jailbreak and now you'll be able to enjoy your jailbreak and install some homebrew then there's not much homebrew out at the moment but there are a few things and it's nice to have but I think further down the line there's going to be more homebrew being added to um, to you can enable FTP as well to the to the place PlayStation 4 scene which I think is most needed 
So I guess this is it for this video guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you did like this video, if this video helped you, please give me a like and consider subscribing so I can release some more content like this. Uh, I will be, in a further video, I'll be teaching you how to back up your own games and how to um, install them back in if you ever need to. So thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to click on that bell icon so you can get notifications for any new videos. Thanks again. Bye bye.